Hey everyone, Glimps here, and I just saw some pretty big news. So, Kave and Baizu, Drip Marketing has been revealed. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, I'm just coming on here real quick, and we're going to talk about speculations, or what it might be, or things I've seen about them. So, yeah. If you do enjoy this type of content, want to see me pull for both Kave and Baizu when he comes out, then consider subscribing, and the new goal is 325, so let's see if we'll get that soon enough. Thank you all so much for all the support, and yeah, so... Um, one thing I was surprised about is that um, a lot of people had speculations about Kave, not Kave, about Baizu having a redesign. And that was just speculation, everything. Nothing was really confirmed. I did notice that. Uh, I did. Oh, I personally I didn't notice, but I saw that someone talking about how they changed the design of the little thing on his hand, which, like. <laughs> I don't know if you're able to call that a redesign. Maybe I just didn't pay enough attention to Baizu before, but I, oh, okay. But I genuinely don't think that, like, I don't think I would have noticed anything if. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, there you go. But like, okay, so I didn't see, like, I if. I genuinely wouldn't notice a redesign. I, and if there is something different, then I didn't notice already, which I could just be completely not paying attention. But I complete. I like. I looked at it pretty closely off of what my memory said, and I didn't really notice anything too drastic. But overall, I do really like the design. I've liked basically just the look of his character and everything for a while. Uh, Kave, I've also really liked the. Uh, just the design of his kit since I first saw it. I am looking forward to pulling for both of them. Hopefully. They're on the same banner. Will Hoyoverse be that generous, though? I highly doubt it. They're probably going to be on separate banners again, which is what they've been doing recently. But if I am wrong about that, then I will be pretty excited. So, just going out there real quick, here's like a few options that I think that they most likely have. Okay, so Baizu is head of the pharmacy, so he's probably going to be a healer. Or just any type of survivability. Um, I've seen a few things he might uh, in my dream that said he might be <laughs> a um, a healer and shielder. But okay, I swear. I, oh, there that is. So said so he might be a healer and shielder. So just pretty good for viability. Um, hopefully, he has good denture application. I heard that in my dream that he made have he may have been nerfed with his denture application. So. We'll see, but there's still a lot of time between before the beta test is done and everything. So, we'll see what changes. I don't think he's going to be a DPS, but he's also Dendro, so you can just stack him with EM and he'll probably do fine damage, kind of like Nahida. Um, let's see, I also think that something that's really interesting is options for Kave, right? Because, I don't, I haven't really seen anything definitive on him, actually, and I've kind of been looking a bit for him. Like, I've... I mean, I don't actively search up leaks, but wink, wink. I haven't actually seen like a defined kit for him. I've, I've seen a lot of different speculations and stuff that kind of just pass it off as like, this is fact, believe me. But it's just, I've seen that for like four different options. So he's either going to be another four star DPS, kind of like like Hazo, Razor, that type of thing, or he's going to be. Like Dendro application support type of thing. He's not going to be a healer because we already have Yao Yao, and Baizo is most likely going to be a healer. So I don't think it. I, I'm. I think it's a pretty safe to say that he's not going to be a healer. So he's either just going to be like Dendro support application, um, a four star DPS, which people will get excited about and talk about for a good like two weeks and then forget about for the rest of eternity. Like. Think of how anticipated and how t highly talked about Hazo was when he first released. And when's the last time you heard anything about Hazo? Like, I think he's a really cool character. I have my Hazo pretty well built. But, um... I mean, people just don't really talk about him at all anymore. Especially since Wander. Like, that, <laughs> that was a huge drop in Hazo talk. Okay, so he's one of those two options. Or the third option is that he'll be kind of like the Dendro, Goro, or Sara, Shenha, that type of thing. And then, like, he probably have to get a C6 for 60% or 40% crit damage on Dendro. Which would actually be really cool, but I don't... You see, I think that'd be, like, one of the cooler options. Because then he'd be more usable long-term, even though he's still, like, a niche character. But I think that... 
I still think it's too early in the Dendro for Hoyoverse to decide to release that. It just seems like... I don't know, it just feels like since they just released this element, I don't know if they'd want to release that right away. With also considering the fact about... Um, what's that called? But also considering that there's still a bunch for other elements. Like, they have one for Cryo, Electro, Geo... Um, am I forgetting anything else? Cryo, Electro, Geo... Um, uh, not Hydro, really. I mean, kind of Hydro. That's like a Hydro buffer, but not really. Um, Cryo, Hydro, Geo... Electro. I said that one earlier. I think, yeah, it's just those four. Okay, so we still have one for Pyro, Hydro, and... Dendro. Actually, okay, wait. So the next two regions we're going to are probably going to be Fontaine, which is, I'm pr like, I'm pretty sure Fontaine's been confirmed for being next. And then Natland, which is, like, Hydro than Pyro. So who knows, they might release the Dendro one right now, and then <laughs> the other two buffers in their respective time, which, to be fair, is a long time away. So, I mean, we can, let's, let's hope they don't do that, but I think it's also something that could happen, to be fair. I don't know, they've waited, like, two years to release Yao Yao. Um... Yeah, so, Baizo, I think, uh, Baizu, I don't, I think that's how you say it. I don't know, we'll see. Pretty sure it's Baizu. Pretty cool character. Uh, I will be pulling for him. So, I've been pulling for, try to get C1 Hu Tao. But I'm gonna be real with you, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get him. Get her. So, I think what I'm gonna do right now, I think the plan is just start saving for Baizu. And then do like one 10 pull on Mika's banner to see if I can get it in case I ever get Eula or something in the future. Because he'll probably be pretty good for her. And then... So just see if I ever get, like, Eula in the future and everything. I mean, I'm sure Miko will come back later. I don't know why. I still don't know why they didn't release them together. Like, why are they holding back Eula? It's so weird. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, think, I just think that'd be cool. And then... Oh, that didn't go up very well. And then the other thing that I was kind of curious about is just, like, artifact sets and everything. I feel like... If they do release a new artifact set this patch, which I'm pretty, I think they do four and three point six, which means that there'll probably be one for Deha, and then I'm not too sure who the other one would be for. Let me see. Is there any character that like doesn't have a? I feel well, like I don't think Nyla has a dedicated set just for her. So maybe a Hydro set. Uh, High Thumb's pretty much fine with Gilded. He has his own set. Uh, she's fine with Deepwood. She doesn't really have one. He is thundering. Uh, he can use wanders. Just Zhao, basically. He can use Childs or his signature, but just use Childs or Gladiator. Yeah, okay, so it's probably going to be a Hydra set like this and then one for Deha. Because I don't believe... Unless Deha is also like Nyla, just using a two-piece, two-piece. Those are the only two current ones I'm thinking that are using like main two-piece stats. <laughs> I'll go do some artifact runs over here while I'm talking about this, but... Um, not Inazuma. Sumer. Okay. So, yeah, those are probably some things to look forward to. But, let's see. If I'm being honest... So, if Baizu is a Dendro healer, which I think is most likely the case, the kit could still change and everything. I don't know, like, people still saying Ganyu was support before she was released. I think that he'd probably just scale with either EM or HP similar to Shinobu. I do want to farm a little bit more for my Alhytham. Okay, let's see how he does here, now that he's leveled up. Last time I did him, he was like... Last time I did him in this um, domain, he was like level 70 with level 8 talents and everything. Now he has double crown, so let's see how that goes. But I don't know. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. We, we might also just run... Baizu on Deepwood, kind of similar to Nahida. So yeah, I'll probably just see... I'll probably just farm this for a bit for Alhytham, see how lucky I get with that. And then literally anything left over is just going to go on Baizu, unless he has like a dead... <sighs> uh, 
Uh, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, <sighs> this is very high copium locking this. HP, maybe. Yeah, no, I, I can't bring myself to lock that one. <laughs> what? Well, uh, okay. It's, it's whatever, it's whatever. But okay, let's... I don't know, Baizu is not going to have crowd control, but if he did, I think that'd be pretty sick. Let's see, I feel like Kaveh looks the most like a polearm character. But I'm pretty sure that I've had a dream of him being a Claymore character. And Baizu, a Catalyst. So, if I do want to run Kave on uh, as a DPS, which I might give it a shot just out of curiosity because I think he looks really cool, is... Let me show you some claymores really quickly. If I do want to run him DPS, I'll probably just give him one of these. But I don't think he'll scale with attack just because Dendro. So, probably something like this. I mean, <laughs> physical is always an option. Or I could let him borrow this thing I have on Razor. But probably this one. Is, he's probably just going to use this either way. Or their, the new event weapon that they were showing. I don't know if it's going to be for Deha or Kave, But we'll see. I don't think he's going to need HP. Or ER. I mean, you could probably give him ER if he's like... Like, has a lot of energy requirements and strictly a burst support. Maybe actually something like this. This would be a pretty cool weapon on him. But I don't think it'd really fit. I think this would look cool on him. I'll have to wait and see. Probably like one of these or something. I'm sure this would look good on him just because the color matching, but it might be wasted on him. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, and Baizu. My weapon plans for him currently. I could just level up another one of these for him. Um, if EM, I could give this if I want to do him for damage, but I don't I don't think I'm going to build him on damage. I already have Dendro for a Hytham, and I'm building Tainari, so I don't really need another DPS. I'll probably build him healing. If he goes with like EM, I might give, her, give him this weapon that's kind of just lying around. This one. Um... Probably, he, if he needs HP, I could give him one like this. Um, he won't need this. Maybe. No. He Okay, I'm going to be with you. He probably won't scale on, scale on attack, guys. Uh, like, yeah, these are probably fine. Is that the same one up here? Yeah, okay. And then we pretty much just get duplicates. Pretty much just ER or EM I'd give him, most likely. Yeah, that sounds like best. Okay, I'll just leave it there. We'll just use this resin real quick and then call today, and then I'll condense my other ones for tomorrow. Um, no. Okay, there you go, look at that. That might be a good piece for... I'll hide them, actually. Wait, what is... Do I have a crit rate circlet? Or a crit damage circlet with him? Let's take a look real quick. I don't remember what I have on him. I haven't looked in a while. Crit damage with 10% crit rate. Yeah, okay. I That's probably not going to be better. Where is it? Right here? Hmm. Okay. We're gonna level it up a little bit. I don't really know how much of this I can afford. <laughs> I don't... I haven't been doing artifact runs too much recently. I do want to get back into it, though. I just had to take a break to, like, level up a bunch of characters. I'm also in the process of leveling Tainari. Attack percent. Okay. Don't go into that more. That That's fine, because we can kind of use it, but... Crit Raid and EM mostly. Uh, okay. Actually, attack's fine. You don't... You don't need to go into defense. No, okay, that I, I Not preferably attack, though. Crit rate and EM preferably. Okay. Hoya versus I'm streaming. Or you gotta show them... You gotta show them the good luck. <laughs> Why am I getting this to 16? It's already worse. What am I doing? I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt, Artifact, but you're just not good. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh, I forgot to use his E, that's fine. Oh shoot, I forgot. She was over here. That's like the only thing. I think, like, ideally, you could have, like, Kaveh with, like, 60% dungeon damage. Or 60% crit damage. And bonus crowd control. Is that too much to ask for? Yes, but that would be, like, idealistic. I feel like.
Pfizer might. Uh, no, I feel like. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Perfect. I feel like Baizu might um, be good for Sino because it just depends on how long the duration of his kit is. Because I was just having a talk with someone about this in the comments in a previous video, and it's like Sino doesn't really have a like a perfect support designed for him. Nahida does the job fine and everything, but nothing is like perfectly made for him. Like imagine a character that like did pretty solid Dendro application and was also good for like healing and just a good setup for him in general because that's one of the things Sino is missing and it's like he's basically built like a hyper carry so you're supposed it seems like you should be playing him in aggravate that's why everyone is so confused at the start but then he's like oh no I have a higher focus on quick bloom which is actually kind of confusing and that's mm, okay I hate locking that Okay, we'll see if that gets crit damage. But yeah, it's like... I don't know, I don't... Especially since I've heard that his Dendro application has been nerfed, I don't I don't think anything's gonna happen from it. He'd probably be... Okay, so think of how good Nilo is um, with Yao Yao, right? So if Nilo's is good with Yao Yao, that means that... Baizu is probably just going to be an upgrade there. So you probably want, like... You can probably go Baizu, Nilo, and then Yulon Xingqiu. Wait, let me think about that. Baizu, Nilo. And then probably either Xingqiu, Yulon... Xingqiu, Yulon, or um, Nahida. You can kind of just switch basically any one of those characters out. No... Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Getting a lot of things that can be good, but like aren't. That's weird. Okay, you know what? Let's see. I'm gonna use my last three resin. Just because we've been getting like close to good luck. I know this isn't real. What's that called? Gambler's fallacy or something? Or like, if you haven't gotten something great in a while, you think that you're gonna get lucky down the line. Yeah, I know it's not real. Does that stop me from acting upon it? No. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually really excited for the new characters and everything. I, I'll i probably change my hair real quick. If you guys have been here, you might have noticed that I always do this. Wait, this is the first time I'm putting two characters on at once, though. Um, what are the names? <laughs> Sorry, it's my hair. Paizu and Kave. There you go. Okay, works out. Okay. Yeah, I do think uh, I like... Okay, here's the problem, right? Is that people released all these things about Baizu getting a redesign, and I thought it was going to be a bigger redesign. So I did get kind of excited, and I saw like really cool fan art about what the redesign could look like. And I feel like that's the biggest problem. Like anytime you look at fan art or something, it's you're always going to find at least one thing that fits your interest better than the developers are going to make it, which is kind of weird, you know? Like one would you would think that the, the, the devs would be able to make something that's like applies to a wider range to be honest in most cases but it seems like a lot of the times developers don't make things as good as a type certain types of fan art <sighs> ah no i'm not gonna do it okay but ah, crit damage man okay i'll keep it for now i'll do like two rolls into it and if it doesn't get em i'll drop it but i feel like developers just like normally I don't know, it seems like a lot of times they're kind of out of tune with a certain fan base to appeal to something that nobody really understands. Especially in Genshin Impact, right? Like, it seems like this is a very interesting dev team, but they clearly know what they're doing, because everything's getting... They're making millions of dollars. It's just, I feel like whenever you look at fan art, you're going to see something that you like more 
just I mean there's just like a wider range of fan arts than one like standardized design that they're gonna release. So just seeing more of these fan art characters and stuff and you're gonna How Okay. That's a lot of crit damage. But um okay, I'll lock it for now. But um yeah, so like you'll see all these different fan arts and things that you don't really, or like you you you'll see a bunch you dislike. You'll see one that like really stands out to you, but it's just because like the sheer number of them, right? Like they can only make one official design, but you can have infinite fan art designs. And then you see the one that you really like, and then the problem with that is that you start to think, oh, what if it actually was this design that I really like? And then you kind of just see everything else as less in comparison, which I mean sucks, right? Because <laughs> You're happy with what you have until you realize there's something better, right? Like, remember in the game when Diluc first came out? Or like, this? I mean, I guess this is the start of the game. Everyone loved Diluc. What the hell? How am I getting so many crits? Oh my gosh. That's insane. Like the Edo Domain for the husk, I farmed that like a million times and got like two crit circlets. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so like, you'll... you'll Think of in your like so. Start, sorry, I'm going all over the place. Start of the game, the Luke was released, and then everyone's like saw that he was the best DPS. Everyone loved him, and then there are characters like Huta that came out, Ayaka, Ganyu. All these characters just power crept him, and then everyone's kind of like, oh damn it, I got to Luke, even though everyone was like thrilled to get him just like months before, right? So it's like everyone's fine with what they have until you see something better. So I advise against looking at fan art designs and just waiting for the real thing, seeing if you like it or not. Because overall, I do really like Baizu's design, but then part of me is just like, there's always what could have been, you know? But that's just dwelling on something that doesn't matter anymore. So, his design has been finalized. I, at least I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm like 99% sure when they release the drip marketing, that's the end of it. But, I don't know, there's not too much else to talk about, it's just... Let's let's just wait and see how the characters turn out and everything. I'm very personally I'm personally very excited for both of them. I will be pulling for both of them. And I really hope they're on the same banner. Probably not, but like I was saying, there's always the what if that you can think about. Just speculatory for now. So, we'll see. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. So <laughs> It's pretty cool. Alright, um, I just love flying with this character. Alright, there you go. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See ya.